Hello, my name is Lori and I work at the Morgan County Public Library and welcome to Chair Yoga. I was gone last week because I was on vacation and that's going to happen occasionally or I might be sick. So usually if that's the case, I will put something on Facebook to kind of um, tide you over or you can look at another week and do that practice. So make sure you have a chair and that you're wearing comfortable clothes. I recommend that you, if you can, be barefoot. And so let's get started. I'm using a regular chair this week. Uh, the bench the cat has adopted and I don't want to take it away from her. So at any rate, we want to assume a yoga seat. So sit back in your chair, have your feet about hip width apart. You want a strong, long back straight. You want your shoulders down away from your ears and your head centered over your shoulders. Imagine there's a line going down your body and you want to be even on both sides. And also imagine that it's coming out and someone's pulling on it and you're straight and it's straightening you. Your bones are giving and going up. You want to be tall and strong. Your hands can be in your lap any which way you want or you can bring them to the heart center. Let's take a few moments to check in with our body and see how things are going. Um, you know, see how your body is feeling. And if there's some tension there or uh, something is going on, notice it, acknowledge it, and then breathe in a long, slow breath to bring healing to that area. Um, we'll do this for several breaths, five or six. And so when we're doing the breathing, remember that we're taking long, slow inhales through our nose. And we're making sure that we're filling our lungs and that our belly is sticking out a little bit. And then we take a long, slow exhale. Between each inhale and exhale, we want to wait a couple of seconds. So let us begin. And remember that your breath is the key to your wellness. If you feel stressed out, take a moment to just breathe a couple of deep breaths and see how you feel. 
Um, how we breathe is very important. So many people breathe so shallowly. They're breathing with their upper chest and they're not using their full lungs. So they're not really getting enough oxygen. And plus it's a panicky kind of breathing and it's telling your body that things are not okay. Whereas when you take long, slow breaths in and out, you're telling your body everything is okay. You're giving your body plenty of oxygen and so you can perform your best. But you, it isn't just about performance, it's about being at peace. So if you feel stressed out, take a few moments and just breathe really deep. Inhale and exhale. Do that for a few moments and then see how you feel. You should feel better, a little bit more in control. So let's start our practice by doing some warm-ups on our neck. We're starting to turn to the right as much as we can, slowly. And then here, stay here for a couple of breaths. Back to center and now to the left. And back to center one more time to the right. to center and one more time to the left. Okay, good. And now we're going to do some head rolls. So starting at six o'clock, going very slowly, going all the way around the clock face, going clockwise. Now let's do some counterclockwise. Now, let's do some shrugs. Mm -hmm. Lift your shoulders up by your ears and then put them down. Do this several times while you're breathing. Make sure you're engaging your stomach, pull in your stomach as much as you can. Good. And now we're going to do some side bends. So try to reach on your right side as far as you can go. You don't have to touch the floor. And then back up and on the other side. And then back 
back up, begin on this side. And up to this side. Good. Now we're going to do a twist. So put your hand on the outside of your knee, palm facing out, and put your other arm behind you and look over your shoulder. Not just looking at the wall like we used to. Now we're trying to look over our shoulder. If that hurts, then don't do it. Just go back to looking at the wall. But this is a little bit more of a twist. And back. And now the other side. Good. One more time. And one more time to the left. Good. And now we're going to do sit up in your seat some. And we're going to do cat and cow. So remember, you're in your yoga seat. And you're going to arch your back like cat. And then go the opposite way for cow. It's a gentle back bend. Arch for cat. And bend back for cow. Very good. And now I want you to put your hand up like you're grabbing a rope and it's pulling you up. It's pulling you up. So you're reaching higher and higher, still trying to hold on to that rope. Now bring it down. And the other hand, the other arm up. You're grabbing hold of that rope. You're not going to let it go. Your whole body is stretched, trying to keep that rope within your grasp. Yes. And then pull down. And the other side. Again, we're grabbing that rope, stretching our body up high, keeping a hold of that rope, pulling it down. And one more time on this side, reaching up, grabbing onto that rope, Feeling our body stretch, feeling our bones stretch apart in our spine. And then bring your arm down. Great. Now we're going to do some arm exercises. So put your arms out on either side, palms down, and roll your hands over to where they're facing up. And now do the opposite, going the other way. So we're doing this rolling motion. We're rolling our shoulders, twisting one way and then the other. Good. And now we're going to do um, flower blossoming arms. That's a very nice one I like. So put your hand, fingers on your shoulders, bend your um, arms, your elbows are out, and blossom out. Hold the pose. 
Feel it in your arms. Make sure you tuck in your tummy. Breathe. And now back to the fingertips to the shoulder. Take a deep breath and let it out. And then here we go, we're blossoming again. Palms up. Engage our stomach muscles and breathe. And then back to our shoulder tip with our fingertips. Take a deep breath in and out. And one more time, we're blossoming out. Hold your arms there, tuck your tummy in, breathe. And now you can release your arms. And breathe. Okay, now I want you to put your hands out, your hands out, your arms out with your hands up. Your hands are up. And then we're going to put them down. This is for our wrist. Up and down. And now spread your fingers wide. So return to normal and then spread your fingers wide. Return to normal. Spread your fingers wide. Now make a fist. Open. Fist. Open. And now roll your hands. Now do it the other way. Excellent. And take a deep breath. And now we're going to do little arm circles. So Put your arms out on either side of you, flat out, palms down, tuck your tummy in, breathe through your nose, and start making little circles. And now a little bit bigger, not much bigger, just a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger. And then very big, very big circles. And then back to medium circles. And then littler circles. And your arms down. And then let's do it the opposite way now. So we're making little circles, but we're going in the opposite direction. And then we're going to make them a little bit bigger. And a little bit more bigger, more bigger, bigger. <laughs> Good English there. <laughs> and then start making medium circles again. And then smaller. Now your hands are still bringing down. 
Excellent. So now let's work on the legs. I'm gonna put my chair sideways so you can watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna sit up in my seat at the edge and I'm gonna have my yoga seat. My back is straight, all right? And I'm gonna put out my foot. Let me back up a little bit more, okay. Put out my foot and flex my toes up. So I'm gonna flex them up and down. Now we're down. Flex up. Flex down. Flex up. Flex down. Flex up. down. Okay, bring your foot back and put the other one out, the other leg out. And we're going to do the same thing, flexing up and then down, up, down, up, down, Up and down. Okay, bring out your right foot and roll your ankle in a circle. Now roll it in the opposite direction. It's not as easy doing it the other direction. <laughs> Bring your leg back and do the other one. Roll your foot. And now go the opposite direction. Excellent. And now we're going to do a forward seated bend. So make sure you're sitting up straight. Your feet are hip width apart, and you're going to bend at the hip right here in the crease. You're not going to punch over like this. You're not doing that. You're going to keep your back straight. Keep your stomach engaged, pull in your tummy, and bend forward. So you touch the ground if you can. If you can't, that's fine. And then back up, bending forward. And back up. One more time. Now we're going to do a wide leg bend. So have your legs wide apart like that. You still want your back flat and you still want your shoulders down and you're going to bend forward and put your hands between your legs. Go as far as you can. You don't have to go all the way down. Just do what you can do. And then back up. Down. Back up. Down. And back up. Excellent. Now, one more thing before we go into our meditation. 
get up from your chair. And if you don't want to do this, if you can't do it, you can just stay seated in your yoga seat. But what we're going to do is do tree. So, I need to be on this side. So you can, you can hold on to the chair and just have one arm up or both arms up and leaning against the chair for support. And if you can, you can maybe be away from the chair and try doing this without any support. You can also do this up against your bed or against the wall. However you feel safe, you want to be safe, you don't want to fall down and hurt yourself. And then palms up, you can't see any, but my palms are together and up. And it usually helps to gaze a little bit in front of you, like down and just keep your face soft and just breathe. Make sure you're engaging your abs, pull your tummy in. Don't lock your knee. Good. And then the other side. You can hold on to the chair if you need to. Just put one arm up. Or you can do two arms and lean up against the chair if you need that support. And tuck that tummy in. And don't don't lock your knees. Breathe. Good. Now, getting back in your seat, um, we're going to do child's pose. So what I need you to do is you're going to have your feet a little wider apart than you normally do. And you're going to be leaning forward with your back straight. Your elbows will be like right above your knees. And then you put your head in your hands. Your hands are like this. And this is a relaxing pose. So get settled in and breathe. Remember, you want your back to be straight. Your shoulders are not up around your ears. Just relaxing. If your elbows are digging into your knees, you can 
place like a little blanket, a folded blanket or a towel to stop that. It just depends on how you feel. So let's sit back. We only got a couple of minutes here. So let's sit back and just breathe. Check in with your body. Find, think of something to be grateful for and put a little smile on your face. Breathe in, energy, love, support. Breathe out, stress, worry, tension. Soften your face. Do this as long as you need to. I will share with you that I'm great. I'm very grateful that I've got both of my shots and I feel less stressed out about COVID-19. <laughs> I'm also grateful that no one I know has died from this disease. So that is good. I know some people who got really sick, but you know, they got better. So I don't know if everybody can say that, but I am grateful that I can. I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.